one. Three, two, one. There you go. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day as you can see here. The sun is shining. Grandfather Sun is out here with us right now. And wanted to give you an update on what's happening, at Mississippi Stand, and more personally for me. So right now we're packing up this beautiful U-Haul. So my friend's going to show you this big old U-Haul. We got things loaded up. Um, we need more things loaded, but we got certainly a great amount of stuff going on. So, And then that U-Haul is going to be making its way to Iowa City tonight. It is going to be parked near I-80 at 2208 North Dodge Street in Iowa City. It's the old uh, Boyd's Grill. And it's going to be there from 7 o'clock tonight. And then it's going to be there all day tomorrow. There's going to be a list of things that you can donate, but pretty much looking for cold weather sleeping bags. We're looking for hats, scarves, and gloves. Anything that's going to keep people super cool, super warm in the cold. Um, and it's heading up to Standing Rock. As for Mississippi Stand, Mississippi Stand is alive and kicking. Um, there are people right now planning marches in St. Louis. I know Matt, Matt Solchi and uh, Hannah. Uh, working hard with that with uh, Alex has been involved. I know Ruby's been involved with that There's also another crew that are still looking at the best way to be able to continue to fight the pipeline on all fronts um, So it's either going to be in Iowa potentially Illinois potentially North Dakota But there's going to be different direct actions to make sure this pipeline doesn't go in the ground So keep your eyes peeled for that They still need money for the legal fund because although there's ten grand that you see in that legal fund most of that's been spent because they've had over 102 arrests. The arrests are coming in with minimum fine somewhere around about $515. So if you do the maths on that, with 102 arrests, if that was all just for trespass, you'd be looking at over 53000 needed. So please keep putting into the legal fund. There's definitely going to be a new legal fund coming out, and it's going to be publicized shortly, so I'll keep you abreast of that. Personally, if anyone wants to send me money personally through PayPal, as I'm going to be up at Standing Rock, I know they're crying out up there for the ability to pay for gas to go on runs to go and get supplies. They're also crying out for being able to pay for things like propane, um, things to protect the water protectors from the tear gas and the mace, so goggles, respirators. So if anyone wants to personally send money to my PayPal, I'm going to put the link on here for you. I'll make sure that that goes to fighting the cause up on the front lines and keeping the water protectors protected. Um, I'm going to be up there. My main mission to be up there is to learn more about what's happening, to share it with you guys, and to give you a look behind the scenes. Because there's so many people involved. It's not just the people on the front lines that a lot of times you're seeing. There's all the people that are running the donations, running the kitchens, running the prayer circles, and everything else there. So there's so many different ways that people can be involved by coming up there. What I want to do is show you the different kinds of people that are there from all walks of life and what they've given up to come and stand and say no more, no more raping Mother Earth. So I'm super excited at last to have found my way up to Standing Rock. Going to be up there in the early hours of Saturday morning, um, everything being well, maybe a little later on Saturday afternoon. I'm personally going to be staying up there. Um, I don't know how long. It's going to be at least a week, 10 days, possibly longer. Um, and then the other thing to mention as well, guys, uh, don't forget about the letters. If you've got children, grandkids, clubs, I'll put the link to the page on that. But we want to get lots of letters coming in to be read to the water protectors to, just, to get the younger generation involved, but also to show those water protectors that are standing there facing such violence against such peaceful prote protection that they have love from kids all over the planet who understand what they're doing and stand up because it's our time to go forward with love. There's too much violence in the world already. Violence against violence never solved anything. It's time to have love in our hearts and prayer. And t prayer and love can squash any of the problems in the world, no matter what's thrown at us, because that's how you open hearts and open minds. So guys, I'm looking forward to meeting lots of you out there. Please go ahead and share this. If you're in the Iowa City area, Des Moines area, and you've got some things, we're going to be collecting money and gas cards too. If you've got some money you want to bring down or some gas cards to help people, that would be awesome. Keep your eyes on my Facebook. You're going to see as we're going up. I'll try and make some posts on the way. I love you guys. Water is life. Take care.